Hey guys, it's this Will Cloth here today, and so this is Monster Legends Leaks video with a bunch of new information on the new Ancestor monster, and we also have some new relics and some new events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we have is for Baba Basher, and we have what ability she'll have when she awakens, so she'll have area damage boost and area double damage. And the condition will be the team removes 20 status effects, I actually think that that got changed recently. Yeah, so now it only needs 10 status effects, so that is very good. So yeah, all you gotta do to get this is to remove 10 status effects and it should be pretty simple definitely much easier than 20 and of course those are some really good things to have all the damage boost so yeah this monster will be a very very good definitely go and try to get baba bash here if you can all right and then the next week we have our three brand new relics and these are all in the adventures that it looks like so they'll do bonus stuff if you have monsters in the adventures guild faction so the first one is the amulet and it can remove stamina from damaged enemies which is very good and then it can also go ahead and give armor to the wearer and apply a random buff to the wearer which is pretty good and then it can also deal magic damage to all enemies and apply random debuff so that is a decent amulet it's definitely not the best it's not even really too great but it is decent and then we have the uh, staff so pretty much it can go ahead and deal magic damage to all enemies and it can apply a random buff to all allies which is good and then it can also go ahead and remove stamina from the attacker and then it can also do light damage and apply blind which is pretty cool i do really like this first effect so that does make it really good and then we have the essence which will go ahead and heal the targets which is pretty cool and it can also revive all allies which is amazing but that is of course the adventures guild faction one so you have to have other monsters from that faction but i'm sure you could get a full team of them and then that would be very good and then you can also go ahead and apply torture immunity to the wear which is okay so yeah the best one is definitely the middle one this one is amazing so yeah definitely go ahead and try to get this relic it is very very good and then we have that yoshi summon is going to be the multiplayer monster and we have his tray right here he has immune to stun immune to blind and precision that is honestly just kind of really bad trait and then we also have his description if you want to go ahead and read that and then we have oni cover's description as well and then we have a skill update for baba bashir so instead of removing control immunities from all enemies it will only do one enemy which is of course a bad change it already wasn't a very good move but they made it even worse which is kind of weird and then we have that there's of course going to be an ancestor dungeon for Baba Bashir, so keep an eye out for that. And then we have a Guggles description if you want to read that. And then we have that there's going to be a monster challenge for Ghoul Losses, so if you need him for a book, go and get that done. But of course, it will cost Jim, so I'm not sure if it's really worth it. And then we have Baba Bashir's description as well if you want to go and read that. And then we just have some new chests right here, and we have that there's going to be a new daily missions for Autumn, where you can get Autumn chests. So pretty much just by doing anything in the game, you'll get Autumn chests, which is pretty amazing. And then there will also be an Autumn time challenge that you can do during the event. And during that event as well, the Conjuring for Baba Bashir will be going on. So yeah, definitely make sure to do all this. It is very amazing. I will make a guide on all the Autumn chest stuff later on. And then it looks like Baba Bashir was updated again, so now you only need to remove a six positive effects instead of 10 which is amazing that is even better and then it looks like they updated another move so instead of removing tortures from one enemy it will remove torture immunities from one enemy so yeah, that's interesting that's pretty decent i guess and yeah that is going to be the last leak for this video let me know in the comments what you guys think of all this stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye